hi welcome to my brand new youtube channel i want to create this video and and do it in a way that it's not scripted or anything like that i want it to be as natural as possible because the biggest goal of my channel is to be relatable so i don't want to feel like i'm like getting interviewed or <laughs> anything like that i want to talk to you like you're a friend and i know it's going to take a little while for me to get used to that so as i'm getting used to it bear with me. Here's the thing. I wanted to give a little background about me and who I am. And most importantly, I want to set expectations for this channel because I don't want to just come on here and be like, hey, this is my life that you should care about. And why would you? Um, I want to give you a reason to come to my channel instead of just being like, come watch my not so interesting life. Um, <laughs> so, and I want to build uh, relationships with you guys as well because I just moved to Minnesota not long ago. I don't have many friends. Um, the majority of my friends are all online slash I text my friends from Colorado and that's, that's, that's how it is right now. Um, <laughs> so let me just come on and tell you just a little bit about my background. Yes, I just moved here from Colorado a few months ago in March. I was in Colorado for five and a half years. I'm originally from North Carolina. I don't want to bore you with like a bunch of that stuff. So let me just give you a few like basic bullet points about me just so you know a little bit about me before we set those expectations. My name is Erin Verding. I'm 26 years old. I am married to my wonderful husband Tyler. Here he is. He's so handsome. Um, we just got married in October and then I am pregnant. I'm 38 weeks pregnant at the moment while I'm filming this and very much ready to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> that sounds mean. I, I haven't had the easiest pregnancy. Um, I was very sick for a while. I, it's, it's been a struggle. I'm not going to get into all of it right now. That's for another video that I can talk about my entire, like, pregnancy experience but as of right now I'm I'm liking it it's um it's time it's time for him to come out I'm like we're beyond excited to meet him and we're just we're so excited that we're just we're ready to go you know how like when you get really excited for something you like can't sleep that's where I'm at <laughs> it's it's lack of sleep because of the excitement and also lack of sleep because I'm very uncomfortable at this point. I mean, I can give you like a little shot of the bump if you want. There he is. He's right there. Yes. Yes, he is large. He is in charge. He is ready, I hope, to go ahead and come out of me. Um, I would appreciate it very much. Um, not that I'm not grateful for being pregnant and blah, blah, blah. But those of you that have been at the end of pregnancy, you understand where I'm coming from. Just keeping it real here. Um, love, love being pregnant. Love watching him kick. Love watching him grow. All of that kind of stuff. At the same time, we're ready. We're here. Okay, next. <laughs> My husband Tyler and I, we do run a personal training business that is mainly online called Altitude Fitness. Uh, we are thinking about rebranding here soon, but again, time for another video. Not at the moment. For right now, it's called Altitude Fitness, and we hope to one day open our own gym that is titled either Altitude Fitness or whatever brand we choose to make it. I do have a cat. Her name is Bella. She's like, other than Tyler, she's the love of my life. This is her. Currently, she's sitting right in front of me, um, just casually drinking water. So if you hear that in the background, you might also be hearing we're having a storm right now, which is which is great. Um, <laughs> look. I set up this video and I did not want perfection, okay? So there's a storm going on outside. I set it up decently to where it's like decent lighting. It's not the best. I'm just in my bedroom. We're just we're just being real here. Like I've thrown pillows here. Like bed isn't really made. But this is what you should expect from this channel is I'm just keeping it real. I thought about like making the bed all pristine and and setting up all of the pillows and making it up really nice. But honestly, do you really care? If you're coming to my channel to see an apartment or a house that is like perfectly clean and perfectly done all the time, this is not the place for you. Um, like I said, I'm about to be a new mother. So that is gonna come with its own challenges in and of itself. And I, I would not expect a, a clean place all of the time, okay? So you're gonna have to, to deal with the realness there. I hope that's what you're coming to my channel for anyway, is to is to see 
and feel realness and, and, and feeling relatable instead of this is my perfect life and this is my perfect child and my perfect husband and that's why we're here. Okay, let's just, let's set that expectation <laughs> real quick. That's That's first and foremost. Yes, I am here to be relatable and that kind of stuff, but I also want to create relationships with you guys. I want to bond with you over the comments. Um, I want to get to know you. So if you will comment down below and tell me a little bit about yourself, since you're learning about me, I would like to learn about you as well. So please do that when you have a moment. A really big thing that you're going to see out of my channel is that I love to help people. So I am a personal trainer, as I've already said. Uh, I, I love helping people. So through workouts, fitness, wellness, whatever it is, you're going to see a lot of that from me. Um, and that's just me trying to relate to you through that, through like physical stuff. But more so what you should expect from my channel is to be, like I said, relatable. You're going to see me take a brand new journey through motherhood, something I've never done before. This is my first child. Um, you're going to see the ups, the downs. You're going to see... <laughs> A lot of it, like I'm not gonna have a camera in my baby's face and be like, look at him scream um, <laughs> when he like needs a diaper change. Like I, I wanna get nit nitty and gritty, but obviously there is a time, there's a place to have the camera out. And I'm gonna try to have to figure out how to navigate that going through being a new mother. Um, but I do want to, to talk to you guys when I'm like feeling certain ways. Like obviously being a new mother is not gonna be this wonderful life where I'm like, I'm so put together, I have makeup on and like I've brushed my hair. So yeah, here's the thing. Since I'm about to have a kid, um, I want to do like a whole comeback sort of situation through fitness and through nutrition and that kind of stuff because little man has not liked me working out like the entire pregnancy. He does not like it when I work out. I have tried, I have tried, I have tried and he hates hates it. Like even just a 15 minute walk is asking a lot of him. Um, so with that being said, I also have not been the best with my nutrition at all. Um, now for those of you that knew me before pregnancy, I was like on my game all the time, big fitness person. Like I wasn't perfect by any means, but I was definitely more about like eating healthy and living the healthiest lifestyle that I can. And, um, Obviously you have ups and downs with that, but throughout the last nine and a half months, nutrition, fitness has not been there. So I want to show you guys my entrance back into that world. Obviously I don't want to push it because I don't want to push myself too hard. Being a new mother, I want to give myself grace and give myself the ability to work my way back into it. So it's like a whenever I'm ready sort of thing instead of after six weeks, it's time to go. Like that's when I'm going to start my my workout regimen and eating healthy and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to set that expectation. I want it to be, I'm going to let this happen when I'm ready. Um, I also don't want to make excuses at the same time and be like, oh, well, I can't go and work out today because I'm so tired. Like I'm going to be exhausted for the next 18 years of my life and I'm aware of that. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of do whatever my body feels and do whatever I want when I'm ready. Um, so instead of saying, yes, I'm gonna start like this whole comeback thing at six weeks, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start it when I'm ready. And you guys will be there to see that when I make that decision. Something else that I want to try in this channel is to try out recipes. I am not a cook, you guys. Like I have never been a cook. Like I, I used to do a cooking show with my friend Anina. Hi, Anina. Um, called Tasty AF. The videos are still on YouTube. I think I even have a playlist of it on this channel. Um, so you can go check those out if you want to. But uh, I never really created, like I created a couple, two or three recipes maybe for that show, but I, I have never been a cook. I have never been able to really make recipes. I thought it would be a good idea to try to learn how to do that. So how I'm going to start is going through like my Instagram feed and maybe finding a recipe that sticks out for me because I do follow quite a few people that do recipes. So maybe doing that, like making it fun and trying to learn through that. Um, so that should be interesting. If you feel like that would be something you would want to see is me learning how to cook, 
then comment down below that you would love to see that. Um, give me some encouragement because cooking is, is like, is like a behemoth to me. Like it is, <laughs> I don't know very much. I know very basic things. I can cook pasta. I can make pop tarts. And other than that, <laughs> that's about it. So yeah, even though I'm going to be talking about fitness recipes, nutrition, all of that kind of stuff, um, you're going to see a lot of that, but what the biggest tone that I want to create is me trying to figure out balancing being a new mother and, and having a life like, you know, through fitness and working on myself as well as being a mother. I understand that I will never find balance in those two things. It's not going to happen. I can try my best. Some days are going to be better than others. And I'm aware of that. So I just want to go ahead and set that expectation as well. I see far too often that too many women are like engulf themselves in motherhood and they forget who they are. And like being an outsider looking in, I can see that. But a lot of women don't realize that they're doing that. And I would love to figure out how to navigate doing that as a new mother. That's a very big challenge. Um, do I have a game plan as to how to do that? Absolutely not. There is no playbook as to how you can create any sort of balance like that in your life. Everyone is different and everyone's life is different and everyone's baby is different. Mine might be, you know, super colicky and, or mine might be an angel like apparently my husband was um, when he was a baby, which gives me hope because um, I was not a good baby. <laughs> and I feel like so many women focus on the want or the need to be the perfect mother when obviously you know that perfection doesn't exist and I'm aware that perfection doesn't exist. I'm aware that I'm going to make mistakes and it's going to be very interesting getting those mistakes on camera because I want to be very open and vulnerable with you guys like as much as I possibly can be. Um, and that's going to take some getting used to for me because I haven't been open or vulnerable on social media in a very long time. Honestly, I've thought for the longest time about doing a YouTube channel and doing vlogs and stuff like that, but I've never felt like my life is interesting enough. Um, and maybe it isn't, maybe it doesn't interest you, but that's okay because maybe it's not for you. And I feel like I can relate to people a lot more now that I'm going to be this, um, this new mother and you know, people can see me go on this journey of not only becoming a mother, but going back into fitness and trying to take care of myself, figuring out that balance that doesn't, will never exist. But the, the main reason why I want to focus so much on the whole motherhood aspect and trying to balance motherhood and yourself is because I feel like there needs to be more than just a shell of a person left after becoming a mother. Like, if that makes any sense, you need to be more than just a mother. You need to be, you need to have space to enjoy yourself as well. And to remember to take care of yourself. Like if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not happy, then your little baby is not going to be happy. And I get that this is coming from someone that isn't a mother yet. Um, and so you could be like, oh, well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. And you're right. I don't know what I'm talking about, but these are the goals and the expectations that I want to set for myself. And I want to see if I can pull it off because I feel like I can. Um, and if I don't, then you're going to see it. And like, that's, that is putting myself out there a lot. That is, whoo, that's a little scary. Like, like if, if I, if I fuck up, you're going to see it. <laughs> and that's crazy because I want that to be out there. I want to be able to talk to you guys about stuff like that. I want to be able to talk to you about my labor and delivery, which is a vlog that I want to make. I want to be able to talk to you about everyday life of, holy crap, my child is screaming his head off and he won't stop today. Like that is, I want it to be just as real as possible. So yeah, I feel like that should give you kind of an, I feel like that sets expectations. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. Um, of what's going to happen on my channel, what's going on. Um, obviously there is the surface layer stuff of, you know, workout routines, recipes, that kind of stuff. But then the deeper stuff of balancing motherhood or attempting to balance motherhood and yourself. So if you're willing to take this journey with me, I would love to have you along for the ride. Please, like I said, comment down below and tell me a little bit about yourself since you learned about me today. It's only fair. 
Um, and I, I want to create relationships and create friendships on here. Um, and hopefully it makes me feel not as alone as I'm hoping to make other mothers out there feel not as alone. So yeah, that's, that's it for the video for today. That's the first one done. Check. Hopefully I won't be like nervous and a spazzy mess the next time that I go to film a video. So yeah, I, I promise I will get more and more natural as we go. But as of right now, this, this is me. This is, this is where we're at. This is me trying to get back into the world of being on camera. So just bear with me on that and be patient, please. Um, yeah, you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time for another video. Okay.